what what important truths or or maybe just even one truth do uh, very few people agree with you on? I haven't floated this to too many people, so I don't know who agrees with this. But I've <laughs> you know one of my governing thoughts uh, about the world is is what I you know what I've sort of dubbed like the no one knows anything theory. Um, and at its root, the no one knows anything theory uh, is about the fact that problems are so much more multivariate than we can give them credit for. And outcomes are uh, so much less predictable or attributable uh, than we might want them to be that I that I think that, you know, that, that I'll tell you when this notion took root. I was having all sorts of back problems, you know, maybe 10 years ago that I don't have anymore. And I went to... Um, you know, a back doctor and he wanted to operate. Mm. And then I went to uh, um, a different kind of back doctor and he, he wanted to give me uh, injections um, in the epidural space. Then I went to a physical therapist and they want me to do certain exercise. So first of all, everyone was a hammer in search of a nail. Totally. But at the end of the day, you know, I ended up learning uh, some hip flexor and IT band stretches and all my back problems went away. And I had sure. seen all these experts and I yeah. sort of, you know, you, for one thing, you've got this attribution problem where you're probably going to credit the last thing that worked. For all I know, the stretches isn't what fixed my back. Time had elapsed, right? Maybe time Fair had enough. elapsed since the injury, but you're going to, you know, everyone's sort of on a last touch attribution uh, mm -hmm. in marketing speak, um, you know, sure. for, for events like that in their life. But, you know, I'd seen all these experts, they all had a different opinion. Um, and it was a much more multivariate problem than anyone could could really solve. Ditto for a business succeeds or fails. You know, you might have been doing well selling, you know, uh, rides to work for commuters. Well, when COVID hit, you know, so it's a mix, I guess, of, of not just uh, that the world is more multivariate um, with interacting uh, causal factors than we perceive, but it's a mix of that um, and that so much randomness and arbitrariness uh, comes in to, you know, um, uh, you know, to, to ruin best laid plans. And yeah. so I just sort of like, no one knows anything. No one knows where anything's going. Um, and that applies to a lot of forms of expertise. Totally. No, it's, it's, it's a, it's a great point. I actually, ironically used to do, um, a lot of pain management work, uh, throughout my training. And, you know, in the end, we sort of concluded that a multidisciplinary, uh, pain management program was the best. You, you literally have someone march through and see all of them. The, the doctor, the psychologist, the physical therapist, and they, they give them their best spiel and the patient kind of picks and chooses and decides, uh, you know, any and all that they do. Um, cause it's, it's and I wonder if, I wonder if they're mutually reinforcing or if that's just a way of acknowledging that no one knows anything know, theory yeah, yeah. and one of them's likely to work, but we don't really know which I wonder totally, if that's a totally. tacit acknowledgement of the theory. Yeah, it may be. Um, so I got a great final question for you, uh, and, and you have know, been super, super generous with your time and, and a lot of interesting and deep insights, um, which is kind of based on this, no one knows everything theory. So let's suppose this is, this is true. And it also harkens to kind of what we were talking about. We're, we're in this crazy complex modern society where we have these, uh, you know, uh, you know, traits and hardwired preferences that may not have, have evolved. So, so given all this, uh, what advice would you give to kind of a, a young man in terms of decision-making? Uh, which I know an area of interest of yours. Like how, how does one, uh, you know, make decisions, whether it's about uh, their personal life, their career, how to be a better man, uh, when there is all this information that's being bombarded at them and no one, quite frankly, may know anything or have the right answer? A, a few things. One, I would say, you know, this is one of those things that gets better as you age, I think. It's like, mm. relax, you know, not <laughs> that much. You know, there's 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 a there's a framework for this type one and type two decisions, and it has to do with reversibility. And I don't remember, but you know, very few things can't be reversed. You know, mm -hmm. so um, you know, and you don't know even if the near term consequences of a decision, you know, uh, are what you wanted or are not what you wanted. You don't really know what the longer term consequences of any decision will be. So, given that you really don't know, this is sort of consistent with the no one knows anything theory, where each thing is going to uh, you know, bring you, especially when you think two, three, four steps out. And the fact that most things are reversible, you know, I, I just, I would advise everyone, however much you're stressing, stress less, um, yeah. you know, uh, is, is certainly, um, that's probably my biggest piece of advice is, you know, very few things are forever. Um, and, oh, here's one I'll add. Um, I think pro pros and cons lists are overrated. 
Um, I've really done the best when, you know, when I've had a list of all these pros and they seem to dwarf the list of cons, but my yeah. gut told me, no, if I went ahead because of the list, I was almost always proved wrong. And over, you know, over my life, um, not that I'm some, you know, old man, but as of, you know, I'm in my forties, um, as I've gotten older, relying on intuition more and more has led to better results for me. It may be that your intuition becomes better honed, you know, through a feedback loop of experience and results. But nonetheless, I, I would just say, um, you know, analytically coming to decisions where your own life is concerned when you have, you know, the perfect meter in your gut um, is probably overrated. Absolutely. I actually call intuition uh, unconscious pattern recognition, essentially. And it, it is, I think it's kind of your brain's model that is, that is trained in a lot of ways very analytically over time. Um, and so people sort of disregard it. Um, but, and I think it's partly because also people confuse sort of emotions with intuition. There's, there's a difference between sort of your gut feeling versus a, you know, a passing anxiety that people have. And I think that's part of wisdom is to understand the difference between the two. But uh, I love what you said about, you know, in, in a world in which no one knows, uh, anything or, or is really the expert on any, everything, um, that instead of causing sort of. Uh, anxiety about that, then maybe that's actually a signal that we can relax a little bit um, in that you're not alone, certainly in that feeling. And to your point, you can always uh, reverse it. There's always an escape. So um, great. Uh, and in, in my opinion, optimistic point of view.